Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to my video today. It is the drawing of my International Tea Day giveaway. Yes, there was an even hidden giveaway at the end of my video for International Tea Day. It wasn't advertised. So you had to watch the video to the end, answer the question and put your answer in your comment to be eligible to go into the draw. And it was open worldwide and it was for a small price pack valued at over $30. So Friday the 4th of June after 4 p.m. I'm supposed to do the draw. It's now 10 p.m. because I broke my camera equipment. Guys, I'm really sorry I'm having to do this the way I, I don't normally do it. But yes, I will do this video and then I will do a small video of the YouTube random comment picker picking the winner and add it to the end. I hope you understand. It's the only way I can manage this tonight. I've tried several different ways and this is probably the way it will work. I can't sort of get it all together. So here goes. The International Tea Day giveaway, the question was, where did tea originate? And the answer was China. They believe China was the first to use tea 5,000 years ago and they used it for medicinal purposes. So your answer had to contain China. It was also one answer per person. No duplicate comments will be picked. So Thursday yesterday, Thing and I went up to Melanda to collect our joint birthday present. When I fix my camera arrangements, I'll do a video because we're really excited and we want to share that with you. And while up there, I mentioned on the International Tea Day video, we grow tea in far north Queensland, Australia. Up on the tableland, there is the Narada Tea Plantation, and I've never been. And yesterday, we visited the tea plantation. It is beautiful. It is beautiful views, lush and green, just a lovely spot with a lovely gift shop and a lovely tea room. You can sit outside, have a pot of tea, with scones, jam and cream and enjoy the view. I did take Ollie the Travelling Owl and took a photo of him up there. I'll try and put that at the end of this video if I can. I decided for the prize pack I would buy some Narada tea things to go in the pack. So first of all, I bought the assorted tea bag pack. Apparently it's a sorted pack with two tea bags of each flavour, but it doesn't tell me how many is in there. It does lift different flavors one that i did notice is australian black tea with lemon myrtle i have a lemon myrtle tree in my backyard and in summer i pick the leaves and make an iced tea with it it is to die for it is refreshing beautiful iced tea so hopefully the prize winner will like that i also bought some of their green tea soap there is no perfume that i can smell of so don't be you know, if you're the winner, oh no, it's perfume soap. I can't smell anything. It's made with goat's milk and I think coconut oil. So that will be in the prize pack. Now, my channel is about my yarn adventures. Whatever I get up to with yarn, wherever I find yarn. And I've mentioned in other videos that Melanda is the home of my favourite independent craft shop, which is only open on Thursdays. Did I arrange to pick up the birthday present on a Thursday deliberately? Mm. Yes, I went yarn shopping. And a giveaway wouldn't be complete without a bit of yarn. So I've decided I would put in the prize pack a Panda 8-ply crypto yarn. This is the Australian Yarn Company. It is 100% acrylic. That is the colourway. They only put colour numbers, not names. I thought that was really pretty and refreshing and reminded me of the tea plantation and how pretty it was. It does have a bit of a halo, but not much. It is beautiful, soft and squishy, and would make a lovely garment. Now, there is 150 grams, 428 meters in that cake. They say there is enough to make that scarf, which is a free pattern on the back of the label. So they're the three things in the prize pack. Now, depending on where the winner lives in the world and the cost of postage, there will be a few little extras to surprise that person. So I'm going to stop this video and I'm going to film the YouTube random comment picker draw 
and add it to the end of this. So guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting on the video and watching the International Tea Day video. There were such lovely comments. And yes, it's exciting to see who will win. Remember to stay safe, take care and have one crafty day. I hope you enjoy and are the lucky winner at the end of this video. Congratulations, whoever that may be. Bye for now. Hi guys, this is my laptop. I apologize once again for having to do it this way. I've set up the YouTube random comment picker with the URL, filtering duplicate users and the word China, which must be in the valid comment of the winner. There are 35 unique comments. That is the beauty of an unadvertised giveaway. You get a small prize pool of people to pick from that are loyal subscribers. So good luck everyone. Let's see who our lucky winner will be. Fifi from Oz. Hey Judy, I am too an avid tea drinker, married to a pom who makes a fabulous cup of tea. Loved hearing about International Tea Day and the origins, origin, origin of tea in China. I have to tell you that I adore your Jack Tea Cozy. Really gorgeous. Thank you, Fifi. Please email me your contact details. I'll just pause this and face the camera. Back again. So there you have it. You saw it on the random comment picker. I don't know if you can see that. Fifi from Oz. Does that mean she's from Australia or Oz in Kansas City? The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Fifi, you'll have to let me know. So in the description below will be my email address. Email me and I'll give you a word, a code word to put in your comments so that I know it's you for you to change. And once we've done that, I'll get your mailing address and I'll get your price pack off to you as soon as possible. So guys, thank you for watching the video. Thank you for commenting. It is really appreciated that those loyal subscribers keep sticking with me. To any new subscribers, I hope you join, enjoy my yarn adventures, my future ones. And yes, it's been a very hectic day. I now have to go and knit a um, slouch beanie very quickly. I have the weekend to do it because the person who asked me to do it wants it in the mail by Monday and it has to go to New South Wales. So there you have it. That is just a yarny life. Again, thank you for watching. Stay safe. Take care. Bye for now.